Now the TiVo Stream 4K is a brand new Android TV device that was recently released by TiVo. Now the main selling feature of this is the TiVo Stream application. Now the TiVo Stream app has a lot of cool features guys. The biggest one of course is that it, it integrates all of your subscriptions into one user interface so it makes it easier to get to your shows, get to your movies, and your live TV. Now in this video what I want to focus on is the integration with Sling TV and my thoughts on what they should do to improve this interface. Let's go ahead and jump in. So if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button in the top right, smash that notification bell. Also check the description for VPN deals as well as related playlists. Now first, I should note that without a Sling subscription, you do still have a lot of TiVo channels that's provided for you. Now these channels are right here listed and anyone with the device has access to these channels. For the most part, they're decent content. It's not gonna be premium stuff, but they are gonna have some content for you to view if you don't have a Sling TV subscription. Now if you have a Sling TV subscription, you'll need to go ahead and get it set up. That way you can have access to it on your TiVo device like I do right here. So here are the steps you need to do to set this up. So over to the computer, and you do need to sign into your TiVo account. And once you sign in, you have a couple options. You can see there's a setup for Sling and there's an option to sign up for the free seven day trial. So you can start the free trial or for me, I just need to link Sling to TV. It's gonna ask me to sign into Sling. So your Sling account is now linked, return to TiVo. Another step that you wanna check is you wanna go to your settings under my streaming services. You want to make sure Sling is checked, but also if you have any other services that you're signed into, like I do, can go ahead and make sure those are turned on. So here are the Sling stuff. And for this, you can go ahead and just hit the TiVo button on your remote, or if you're at the home screen, you can use the app, or you can go down to recommend it in TiVo, and it will essentially bring you back to the application. So now the integration itself is pretty good, it's seamless. You have your channels right here. If I was to click on anything, does have the sling UI, but if you hit the back button, brings you back to TiVo. So let's go back in, hit the up button, and it will bring you to the other channels that's on. Hit up again, you can go to my channels, entertainment, kids, sports, different categories. That's provided for you, which I think is pretty cool. Now also important to note that when you're on the channel, the TiVo did provide channel up and down. That way it's easier to get from your channels. And like I said, this is one of those things that they took into consideration um, when making this remote. Yeah. Now on home, you have your trending, your recent, you also have your live TV, which will go through your, your Sling subscription. Go down, you have recommended, recommended shows, movies, genre. Now the recordings are gonna live in my shows. So up top you can see the capacity, I'm at 9%, but I started recording the fixer upper and to get to it, it gotta go through a couple menus. So if you click on it, then you gotta select the service that you wanna watch it on. So for this, I'm gonna select Sling. And the one that I recorded is actually way down here. So you can see it's highlighted in yellow. And from there you can resume, you can start over. Now for this particular program, I know that I cannot fast forward at all, but I know that some programs allows you to fast forward through the commercials. So at the end of the day, yes, the integration with Sling is really nice, it's convenient, but I don't think this should be the reason why you purchased this box. So if, and I hope TiVo's listening, if you partner with other streaming services, YouTube TV with Hulu Plus Live TV, Fubo, keep in mind that a lot of people don't subscribe to sling sling is popular but it's not one of the best out there so a lot of people have different services that they would like to incorporate in this user interface so so if that's your selling feature make it available for other streaming services so no i wouldn't buy this device just because of the integration it's not that hard to just go to sling or go to youtube tv or go to hulu plus live tv to get the content i hope that in the future they'll open this up to other services. I get the idea of trying to have everything in the same place, uh, but if that's gonna be your selling feature, you, you have to open it up to other providers in my opinion. So that's my thought on the matter. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Once again, this was the overview of the TiVo stream application and how it integrates with Sling TV. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.